is from St. Ambrose. He says, the sixth day is finished and creation of the world ends with the formation of that masterpiece, which is man, who exercises dominion over all the living creatures and is as it were the crown of the universe and the supreme beauty of every created being. All right, pause. You are the crown of creation. You are the grand finale, the masterpiece of God's created work, All right? Let that sink in into your prayer and let the Lord tell you, you are my masterpiece and let see him marvel at you. That's prayer. See him delight in you, rejoice over you. Behold, it is, you are very good. When that sinks in, we become more secure in who we are. We become more free. We become more joyful because we want people to delight in us. And sometimes it can be egocentric. Sometimes it can be prideful and all about me, me, me. But at the end of the day, there is a selfless desire to want to be delighted in, right? This is just a part of the nature of love. St. John of the Cross, he writes in some of his poems, I'll never forget reading this. He writes, when he sees God, Christ the bridegroom, look at him. He says, Jesus, you looked at one hair fluttering at my neck and it captivated you. And then he says, and you looked at one of my eyes and it wounded you with love. Who are we to God? Press into what does it mean to be a masterpiece? I remember one day walking by the Adoration Chapel, right? I just walked by and I looked in and I acknowledged Jesus. And I had this instinctive feeling that Jesus was seeing me like, oh, oh my gosh, look, look. Like this, this captivation. I mean, if you've ever been in love, when your lover walks into the room, oh my gosh, they're here. That is how he sees you. It sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. But this is what the beauty of John Paul II's theology of the body is he brings to light the spousal love between God and man. He delights in us and we must just let it be done. Right? That is prayer. That is prayer. <laughs>